Hello everyone and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So I have to be very honest and transparent with everyone by saying that the last week was not really our best one. Sadly, we had some losses and hence we had to close the whole week with only 360 pips of profit. And I'm totally aware that not everyone have managed to get these pips. I'm sharing here the results with everyone. I'm not hiding anything despite what some people in the comments said. I'm showing everything, the profits and the losses as well. These are the profits that we have made, my friends, last week. As you can see, uh, Monday and Tuesday were really not good at all. Meanwhile, Wednesday actually was a very good day, as you can see. These signals, which we have, which we have sent already, have made all of them together. They take profit number one and two as well. And also, we can see here, uh, these signals have made total together 400 pips all combined together. AUD CAD, AUD CHF, NZD, JPY, and the Pound CAD. However, I have to admit also that not every member was able to get these pips. Therefore, we managed to somehow make a small comeback by Thursday and Friday. And still with that, the, the, the results actually were not up to the expectations. But important here to mention something. The pound NZD we have mentioned to close it with only 10 pips of loss. Meanwhile, we actually had a member who have kept the trade running and thankfully he have made a good profit with this signal and look at that he have actually made thousands of dollars using extreme trader forex signals from our telegram group which is really great however my friends if you want to see the real results and the real performance of extreme trader signals please take a look at our results last march we have made total of 3184 pips of profit these are uh, these are signals the results these are what represents extreme trader forex signals don't judge the service from only one week forex is never like that forex is going to be profitable some days and also going to be in loss some other days what we do in Extreme Trader is thankfully we are able to recover any losses happened. We never promised the profits, of course, but we, we promise to do the best we can. So as you can look at that, March 7th was, re was really a perfect day. So as you can see, my friends, this is represents the real performance of Extreme Trader. And of course, make sure that you are always prepared for any bad days because they might occur. So of course, if you, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. All right, so let's now begin with the weekly analysis. And of course, as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. Now the first look from the first look actually we can tell that the pair has actually reached the lowest level of the support at 1.08350. The euro USD has definitely reached an overbought zone. And right now we can expect to start buying the euro USD. Now let me just tell you something. How far do we expect from this pair to continue the rise to? Let me just show you something. We have here Fibonacci retracement just like that. Now, you can tell me that the market might reach the Fibonacci retracement 61.8, but I don't think this is the case. Most likely, the Euro USD is going to continue to rise only till it reaches the strong support level at 1.09591, and after that, the market is going to continue to rise. We are still actually on a downtrend for the Euro USD. I'm not saying that the market is going to continue to rise and break out from that long-term resistance. No way this is going to happen. That support level at 1.09591 is going to be our target for the next buy order. Now what we are going to do is just simply trading the pullback. Now let me just show you, uh, show you something. Right now we have here a resistance trend line. And it seems to me like the market has already started the breakout from that level of a resistance trend line. That being said, if the market is going to be able to make the bullish uh, breakout from that level of a resistance trend line, that's going to be great because the breakout usually is going to be massive. Therefore, we can expect from the market to reach that level of a previous support level. Not only that, let me show, let me show you. I will draw here a resistance trend line just like that. And I'm simply going to drag it all the way like this so we have here a very strong key resistance level trend line as we can see which has been respected repeatedly now that being said pay attention that the market has also created here a small support trend line but instantly broke out from it which means that the market right now is getting ready to <coughs> 
to actually create another resistance trend line so that resistance trend line here is going to be respected and that can be said or told by looking at that resistance trend line right here which we are actually expecting the breakout from so that's actually going to complete the harmony and therefore the UUSD is going to continue the rise after to after the breakout from that resistance trend line that being said this is actually our target so therefore the take profit level is going to be 1.09591 now for this buy order where exactly we can start buying this pair let's now move to the 30 minute time frame let's move to the smaller time frames now again pay attention this is the same support trend line the uh, resistance trend line which i have drawn earlier now simply we are going to use this one to define our target where we can exactly uh, start buying the euro usd now from the first look we can tell that the market most likely is going to continue the fall till it reaches that strong key support level at 1.08659 and as we can see the market has also respected the same level as the support number one therefore it's not a bad idea to wait for the euro usd to fall to the same level to create support number two and also it's going to be retesting again that broken resistance trend line from that level we can start buying the pair which means buying the uh, euro usd buy from 1.086 uh, I would say 60, not 59. It's gonna be actually a good idea. Meanwhile, for the th for the safe zone, the safe zone will be ranging only till it reaches the lowest level of the support as 1.08217, which means the safe zone is ranging for 43 pips only. Meanwhile, the target is gonna be 92 pips. That's everything for the Euro USD. Let's now move to the next pair let's now take a look at the pound usd all right so if you remember my friends uh the last wednesday actually in the midweek analysis video i've sent the signal that we can start shorting the year the pound usd right from this level at 1.31120 the market has reversed just like four or five pips yeah five pips before reaching our sell level i'm still gonna take the credit for the signal and say that it has made that profit i mean come on guys I mean, I mean, you really want to take this away from me just because of five pips? This is not uh, not fair at all. This is so unfair. The market has reached uh, the take profit level, making 96 pips of profit. Now, what's next with the pound USD? It's definitely not going to be for the short. It's obviously longing the pair. Now, as you can see, the pound USD has actually reached an overbought, uh, sorry, an over, yeah, an oversold level, and right now the market is getting ready for the bullish reversal. And of course, on the four-hour time frame, that can be seen with this long pin bar. Now we can confirm that usually, uh, sorry, we can confirm that we can start buying this pair. Now it's a matter of where we can start buying the the pair and how far we can keep this uh, longing order. So let's just start with the buying uh, level. Let's go to this smaller time frame. Let's go to the one hour time frame. Now on the one hour time frame, we are seeing here something very interesting. First of all, we can notice here that we had a false breakout. FB, false breakout or a fake breakout. Now, if we look at the left side, however, we can define here the real level of the support. And we can tell clearly that the level of 1.3011 is the real level of the support. Pay attention. Right here, we had the real level of the support. And again, right here and right here as well. Meanwhile, this level right here was another false breakout. A false breakout like that. Now, let's scroll more to the current time. And as we can see, this exactly was the level of the false breakout pay attention also that exactly on the same level the market has also reversed meaning right here we have a support number one now all we need to do is waiting for the market to make another pullback and reverses exactly on the second attempt of the support meaning we're gonna buy the market as support number two then let me just tell you so we have defined exactly where we can start buying the pound USD after the pair falls to another 14 pips. However, for the take profit level, it's going to be, of course, right here at the peak of that resistance, exactly right here. Perfect. At 1.31032, uh, which means we are aiming 81 pips profit from the signal. Meanwhile, the safe zone will be ranging only till the lowest level from the uh, support at 1.2. 29829 let me now write the signal for you 
And there goes your signal, my friends, for the pound USD and for anyone who is wondering the reason for picking the peak of that resistance as a take profit level is just simply like that. Because if we zoom out like that, we can see clearly that we had right here a resistance trend line just like that. Perfect. And now we can tell clearly after that reversal and finishing the pullback, the market is going to continue the rise first of all to reach the peak of the resistance right here and also to complete the pattern of that resistance trend line from that point we can start actually shorting the pound usd but of course that depends on the price action at that time but until then let's maintain the longing order that's everything for this pair let's now move to the next one let's now move to the aud usd sadly this signal hasn't worked at all as we can see the market did not respect that level of a strong resistance but instead the market kept down i believe there was some high impact news at that time but i'm not sure i don't want to just bluff i think there was if not then that's it it's just the market did not respect this level and the signal has sadly failed now let's see, let's see what we can do next with the AUD usd pay attention on the daily chart however Right now, the market has reached right here a strong key resistance level, as we can see. And the candle has reversed exactly right on that level. If you check this pattern, uh, this uh, structure right here, we can notice where exactly is the strongest key resistance level. And it's easy to tell that this was actually the strongest key resistance level. We can tell this by the size of this candle, or sorry, the, the wick right here at the peak of the candle. The wick itself has actually made more than, um, I would say about... 72 or 73 pips alone which means this was actually a very strong level and cannot be simply broken out from that being said right now we can see that the market is getting a pullback right here meaning the market right now has reversed right here after the breakout from that level of the resistance at 0 0.7420 right now the market has created support number one however i'm not saying that the market is going to continue the rise I'm saying that the market is going to make a pullback and right here exactly at that resistance level we can start again shorting the AUD USD. That's going to happen after the market rises to another I would say about 78 pips. So until then we are going to maintain a buy order for the AUD USD. So you can call it like a scalping signal. So in other words look at the four hour time frame the four hour time frame has shown us right here a very strong pin bar indicates that the market right now is getting ready for the pullback however the target my friends has to be exactly right here now why right here because this was the nearest resistance to the bearish breakout candle which means the market most likely is going to continue the rise till it reaches that level from that point we will be shorting the AUD USD but until then we will keep our sell live uh, our uh, buy order or longing then after that we can start shorting the pair and the final target will be right here the lowest support at 0.73645 that's an advanced analysis for the whole week i believe therefore all what we are going to do is buying again the AUD USD after it falls again to the lowest level of the support exactly right here perfect right here my friends because if we look at the left we can see clearly that the market has reversed exactly right here these two tails right here represents the support number one right now the market is still on the creation of support number two which means we have to wait for the AUD USD to fall to another 24 pips before we can start buying again. And after that, we will keep the longing until the market reaches the peak of the resistance, which means the target is going to be 111 pips, hopefully going to be a good profit. Then after that, we will be shorting the market. So therefore, let me just select the safe zone. It's going to be just like that till it reaches that level of the peak, the, the previous resistance. Almost, yeah, almost. I think it's going to be 42 pips only. That's fine. We don't really need more than that. Perfect. Let me now write the signal for you. And there goes your signal, my friends, for the AUD UST. As we can see, the safe zone is ranging for about 44 pips. Meanwhile, the take profit level is 113 pips. That's everything for this pair. Let's now move to the next one. Let's now take a look at the UST cat. All right, I'm so grateful that to see the signal of the CAD actually has worked perfectly well. If you remember, my friends, from last midweek analysis video on Wednesday, I've sent you the signal to again buy the USD CAD from 1.2428. 
and sadly the market has made a false breakout but however the market has indeed respected the real level of the support exactly as i have predicted i'm very grateful for that and as you can see uh, the market has reversed for about um 82 pips hopefully you guys have made a good profit from this signal so let's now see what we can do next with this pair let me first of all uh, delete the old signal and let's see now what we can do with this pair let's move to the what to the daily chart all right so on the daily chart do we see a bullish movement or a bearish movement let me answer you the short answer is simply a bearish one how First of all, if we check right here, my friends, we can see that the market has, has broken actually, has, has broken a strong uh, support level. We had right here a very strong key support level. And we can see that the market has indeed made the bearish breakout from that level of a key support trend line and right now has reversed on the new resistance trend line. Which means we definitely are looking for a short order for the USD CAD this week. Now, after confirming the direction on the daily chart, Let's move to the 4 hour time frame. Now on the 4 hour time frame, we can see clearly that the market has indeed respected that level of a previous uh, support trend line and created the new resistance trend line. However, it's important to identify now the strongest key support levels. Now, if we look at this level exactly right here, this was the strongest key support level. Now pay attention. It's very important that you read the candles. Now let's read the candles one by one. So we can see the market has made here a support, support, false breakout, support, support, then another false breakout, then again another false breakout, now we had a resistance. Let me just make it more clear, here exactly we have a resistance, then again a resistance. Now pay attention that what we had right here is another false breakout. Yes, reading the candles can lead this, can lead us actually to uh, have a better reading on the chart to identify the false breakout levels which seems normal to the other traders but for us extreme traders we are able to see these uh, kinds of false breakouts let me just go to the one hour candles <coughs> sorry now on the one hour candles we can see this has been confirmed as well we can see that we had right here a false breakout and again we had right here a real resistance now it's important to understand that the market most likely is going to reverse right here all the way. And look at that. Oh my goodness. It really did already. Let me delete that. Look at, I didn't see this one. I swear guys, I was looking at that resistance level and saying that the market has to respect that level of a real resistance. We can see the market has already did that and we have already a resistance number one. Now, what we are going to do is starting to short the market right here at the second attempt of the resistance meaning we will wait for the market to make another pullback because actually this price action right here usually indicates for a bullish reversal but however we are now expecting a bullish pullback meaning the market is going to rise like, like this and reaches the same level of the resistance number one then we can start shorting the pair which means we have to wait for the market to rise to another 23 pips before we can start shorting it again now back to the four hour time frame if we start a shorting right here, where is the target? The target, my friends, has to be placed exactly at the nearest strong key, key uh, support level. This was the strong key support level, meaning we are looking for about 86 pips. And the safe zone, of course, is going to be ranging just till here, the peak of that resistance, which means the safe zone is ranging for 41 pips. Meanwhile, the target is 86 or 87 pips. Let me now write the signal for you. And there goes your signal, my friends, for the USD CAD. And that's everything for this pair. Let's now move to the next one. Let's move to the USD JPY. All right, so as we can see, the USD JPY has indeed reached the take profit level, but sadly did not trigger our buy order at all. That's fine. Let's see now what we can do next with this pair. Let's zoom out to the daily chart. All right, so now on the daily chart, we can see clearly that the USDJPY has actually reached the peak of the resistance at 124.278. Pay attention that this exactly was where the market has reached uh, before uh, back in, I would say, yeah, just like last week. I mean, this is daily chart, so it was on, just on 28 March uh, 2022. However, now we need to look at something very important. Let's, let's look at the monthly chart. 
Now, the monthly chart is showing us something really interesting. We can see that the USDJPY has reached the, resist the, the peak of the resistance at um, since actually since 2022, uh, 2002. Look at that. The market has actually reached this level back in uh, the last uh, time it was uh december 1st 2002 but however the peak of the the highest level at all like the maximum ever was on 125.740 that was back in um again yeah december 1st 2002. now the usdgpy seems like it's gonna be reaching that level However, that's not going to happen instantly. I believe that this is going to take some time. The market right now is rising. Therefore, I believe that there will be a pullback right here upon the pressure from the resistance right here. And then the market is going to fall like that. And after making a second attempt of the support, the, the USDGPY is going to continue the rise. I don't believe that the USDGPY is going to be able to reach that level of the resistance instantly. Most likely is going to make a pullback upon the pressure from that resistance, especially seeing that the candle has actually closed below the level of the resistance. So now after confirming the direction on the daily chart, by the way, yes, on the four hour time frame, we can see this price action, which usually indicates for a bearish reversal. Now that being said, we can expect from the market to continue to fall all the way till it reaches the strong key support level right here, which was previously also a resistance at 123.145 if I'm not mistaken. Let me just see. This is going to be exactly right here. Exactly right here. Let me just make it more. Uh, just to be more, I'm trying to be safe as much as possible, my friends. So indeed, this was the previous resistance and this was the, pre the previous strong key support level. Now the UCGPY is getting ready for the fall. Shit, by accident, I said the order. And as we can see, we can expect from the UCGPY to fall to another 107 pips. Meanwhile, the safe zone is going to be ranging only till the peak of the resistance again at 124.712 let me now write the signal for you and there goes your signal my friends for the USTJPY actually we can start short the pair immediately at the opening of Monday and hopefully it's gonna work very well and we can expect from the market to continue the fall till it reaches the previous resistance level right here at 123.201 so that's everything for the USTGPY. Let's now move to the next pair. So let's now take a look at the USTCHF. Now, all right, again, at the USTCHF, the, the pair has actually reached our take profit level, but sadly did not trigger our buy level. So let's just get rid of the old signal and let's see what we can do next with this pair. Now from the first look, we can tell that most likely the USDCHF is going to be good for the short this week. Let me just mark here the real level of the resistance as well. Now pay attention that the market has actually made several reversals exactly right here on the same level of the resistance at 0 0.93538. Now we can easily assume that the, the UCCHF is going to reach this level of the real uh, level of the resistance to create the resistance number one. And then we can start shorting this pair. The market has actually showed a strong a strength in the level right here at the resistance exactly right here at 0 0.93735. The market has been rejected from that breakout several times pay attention that the market has actually been trying to break out from that level since 18 march and every single time the market has created a very strong bearish reversal now all which we can think here about is that the ucchf is going to continue the fall till it reaches the strong key support level exactly right here at 0 0.93144 that's going to be our target if in case we started shorting the pair which means we are aiming up that's actually, that's actually nothing <laughs> let me just make it um, more realistic actually this should be the target right here the the strong uh, the next strong key resistance level is 0 0.92809 which means we are aiming approximately 72 pips which is really normal and fine meanwhile the safe zone will be ranging only till the peak of the resistance at 0 0.93818 which means the safe zone is ranging for only 28 pips yeah really USDC is a joke I really had despair it's it can barely give us any profits anyway let me now write the signals for you 
and there goes your signal my friends for the USC CHF hopefully it's gonna be a good signal and hopefully hopefully it's gonna bring us lots of profits let's now check the next one let's now take a look at the gold all right so the gold i'm really so proud of my analysis i'm very happy for the results and i really want to see in the comments anyone who have entertained uh, some profits with this signal because it has surely delivered a lot of profits i mean the market has reversed The market has reversed exactly from where I mentioned that we can start buying this pair and has went in exactly of exactly 256 pips of profit. I really hope someone has at least someone have entertained these profits and can share with us the experience in the comments. Anyway, let me just tell you what's happening right, right now with the gold. Right now, the gold, as I mentioned earlier, is running inside this channel. This is a neutral channel like that which means that the gold right now is, tra is trapped actually inside this, uh, this channel but the gold has made a very strong bullish movement recently and seems to me if we draw here a resistance trend line just like that perfect now we can easily tell that the gold most likely has, might, has finally made the bullish breakout from that long term resistance trend line as we can see right here and of course, as you guys know, the strategy or the normal behavior of the market is like that. When the market makes the strong bullish movement or the, bre the breakout from the resistance trend line, it's going to continue the rise till it reaches the nearest strong key resistance level. And of course, this was the real level of the resistance. Now, the gold will make another pullback to retest that broken level. And after that, it's going to continue the rise. All I'm seeing actually that the gold is going to continue the rise from that level. So therefore, we have to prepare for that. The gold most likely is going to fall to another 150 pips. And by the way, that's nothing for the gold. Remember, I'm analyzing on the four hour time frame, which means it can reach this level by Monday. That's not a problem at all. One candle here has moved to, an, to actually 265 pips. So meaning moving 150 pips is really nothing to the gold. So let's now try to find here the strongest uh, support and resistance levels. Of course, from the first look, it's very obvious right here that we had already a resist, uh, sorry, a support number one. This was indeed a strong support in the past. And as we can see, the market cannot really ignore that level easily. Every single time the market has indeed respected that level. Uh, so meaning 1930 is indeed a strong level and critical level for the gold. So therefore, we can start buying the gold after it falls right here. First of all, it's going to be retesting the uh, support level, meaning it's going to create support number two. Second of all, it's going to be retesting the broken resistance trend line to create a new support trend line. That being said, I believe the level of 1930 is going to be fantastic to start again buying the gold. But however, please, my friends, maintain a proper money management. We really don't want to lose a lot of money when we are buying the gold. And of course, the target this time is going to be right here. The peak of the resistance at 1958.88, which means we are aiming approximately 290 pips profit. Meanwhile, the safe zone is ranging for only for 117 pips no more <clears throat> therefore that's the take profit level at 1958.88 so i believe that's everything for the gold i believe it's going to be a good signal and hopefully we will make good profits out of it so again my friends uh, again i want to apologize for anyone about uh, the premium signals group it was still a good week but however it was not our best week uh, unfortunately monday and tuesday were not loyal to us were not really good but however the days after we did the best we can to recover any losses happened and we're happy to see some clients happy and actually enjoying the experience with our forex signals I believe the next week is going to be very good and we have already spotted so many signals and I have personally helped Angela to find these signals and really we are hoping that the signals next week is going to be fantastic and very profitable. Make sure you don't miss this opportunity to enjoy these signals with us. So until then, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.